Hello friends, my name is Chansekha. This is my another video for Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about tell and seek. So tell, it will return you the current stream position. So let's check. This is the file, this having this many entries. So if you click there, that is the current position of your stream. Okay, if you click there, that means wherever your cursor is there, that is your stream position. Seek, having two parameter offset and bends. So offset it will change means from one stream position to the another stream position in the byte so if you are in this position wherever i am showing the cursor and if you want to go back to the first position you can use it by offset so whence is the optional parameter it having 0 1 2 so 0 means starting of the file 2 means end of the file and 1 is your current stream position suppose you clicked here uh, that is your current stream position so forgive me friend i will take your two minute of time to explain or give you a live demo what uh, in which condition you can use the tail and seek okay this is just a one example okay let's check one file this file having 1250 okay so file name equal to test.txt let's open the file file handler f1 equal to open then file name let's open this file with a read option and then file close it f1.close let's print line f 4 x in file handler print x so it will go line by line and it will read everything okay so you can see it has read through all the lines of a file let's copy the same command and run it yeah you copy two times let's run it hey you can see only one time it is showing it how about the other i have copied two times right i have got two times let's use the another function print f1 dot read so it will read whole file let's run it oh it is returning as expected right let's print it once again hey it is not returning why it is not returning it is just giving a blank means only one time and blank okay use the read line for reading just one line hey it is giving a same position so why it is giving it so f1 dot read it read all the lines in a file till the end and your current position become at the end now if you want to read it there is nothing to be read right nothing in a buffer so you need to position yourself to read all so let's jump into the tail and seek what we can do it okay let's log into the python interpreter copy both like uh, file name and opening it okay i just open the file tx uh, test.txt now f1.tell it will give you the current position so it is giving a zero that means i am at this position okay let's read it f1.read it read all the files line by line you can see the next line is given by minus n and the tail once again you tell it now it is saying 141 that means end of the line okay now you want to read it nothing is written so how you want to go back to the old position that is zero so f1 dot sick zero so now you once again come back to the zero position now you can read it yeah everything is ready right now you go back to once again and if you want to read it you can read it so by default it say zero only second is the optional parameter that is zero only okay and so if you give zero or uh, 12 comma zero that means you are going from starting zero is starting right 12 byte ahead from the starting now you read the line you can see it is giving 7 to 10 right now next line next line okay so if you want to go 12 byte ahead from starting you can see it 7 8 9 10 right if you remove 0 also that is fine because second parameter is optional and by default 0 you can see 12 we have mentioned you can count it 12 okay now it read line through it so your current position is at this position right my cursor is there near to 12 now if you want to go ahead 12 position ahead from 11 you can sorry from the second line you can give 12 comma 1 1 is for the current stream position 
now your red line you can see from you can count the 12 from second line you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 right now you can if you want to go from the two means end of the line so you can see 12 comma 2 so ideally it's return it right no it is not returning why because two means already you are at the end of line and how you can go 12 byte ahead so if you want to print backward right that means you are going back that means negative so 12 from in you are reading 12 byte backwards right so now you can see you are able to read it so once again the vans means second position second parameter is 0 1 2 0 is for like 0 is for starting 2 is the end and 1 is the current position okay and 0 is and 0 is the optional parameter okay now let's check it in our real program okay now you can print it here you can see only one time it is returning because buffer ends right after read so let's use f1 dot sick and go to the first position right comma zero you can give it that is optional by default it's a zero only now you can see read line so it is after reading all line it is reading once again that just remove that read line and give read you can see it is written two times right okay instead of uh, writing whole line if you want to read uh, or if you want to go like two, uh, four, four bytes from the ends, how you can do, you can give like minus four, two. Now you can calculate and it is there. So zero, one, two, three, four, right? So there will be space. Yeah. So it is reading like that. Okay. Instead of uh, uh, reading backward, you can read from forward also. So you can mention 12, for example and so that means from a starting it is going 12 places or 12 byte stream buffer ahead and then read the whole line right so you can see it is returning uh, thank you friend if you have any doubt and pale and sick and you want more real example also please comment it if you liked my video please share and like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want to know any more topic please comment it